Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. This is about my fifth attempt today to make a video. Every time I try to make the video, I start talking about a subject and then I start rambling on. <laughs> Just rambling on about nothing. So I thought, why not make today's video just rambling on about nothing? Um, you see my guitar case over there? Right there. I was practicing a couple of new chord techniques this morning. And although, so I showed you the video of, uh, of, um, the difference between a good guitar and a bad guitar. I'll link that video right here at the end of this video. Um, so I showed you the difference between that. And even though this guitar is much easier to play, much, much easier, you still have two strings to push down in place of one string. The smaller string is a really high tension string. That's what makes it so hard to push down. So it does still hurt my fingers a little bit but I'm learning new chord techniques for playing in various places on the neck. And what always comes back to mind is the very first time I picked up a guitar, my brother had an old Harmony guitar that he bought at a yard sale for like 30 bucks. And he had bought an Aspen guitar really nice Aspen guitar, and I asked him if I could play the, the harmony, if I could, you know, learn how to play the guitar. He's like, sure. So he teaches me three chords. Three chords. <laughs> um, and he tells me that this is the song, Green, Green Grass at Home. And he was like, forget about the G minor, you don't need to do that, just go C, G, and uh, I believe it was D, or it might have been F. But anyway, I can't remember now. But anyway, he shows me those three chords. And, then, and I remember it like it was yesterday. He says, you know, it was over a weekend, and I kept practicing, and I kept practicing, and I kept practicing. And he had to go back to work on Monday, which or Sunday night. He was working out of town at that time. And I was about 12 years old. And he was working out of town. And he told me, he says, when I come back next weekend, you better be able to play this in the dark without looking at your hands. Or I'm not going to teach you anything else. And it hurt. It hurt my fingers. And I was ready to give up the second day, you know. And to this day, I remember my brother said, Yeah, dude, it's going to hurt. You have to build up the strength in your fingers, the calluses in your fingers. It's going to hurt. If you want to learn how to play the guitar, it's going to hurt. I remember that to this day. Those words. And I've carried that throughout my life. And... I don't want to make his head explode or anything like that. But that stuck with me through the rest of my life, all the way up till today. Um, when I was learning to, you know, when I was first learning how to ride a motorbike, I was riding a dirt bike and I'd crash and <laughs> I'd hurt myself. And those words would come back into my head. Yeah, dude, it's going to hurt. If you're going to learn, it's going to hurt. And... When I first started learning how to climb trees for a living, you know, and I'd slip and I'd slide down the tree and I'd rip all the meat off of this part of my arm. 
those words came back into my head again. Yeah, dude, it's going to hurt. <laughs> and honestly, that's kind of what carried me through my immediate dentures was remembering, yeah, dude, it's going to hurt. We are not wired genetically to fail. We're not wired genetically to fail. We're not wired genetically to quit. Quitting is a learned process. Giving up is learned. We're not wired genetically to give up. And sometimes we just need that little, that little boost. And a lot of people have told me that my words stick with them on a daily basis. And, I, and it makes me proud to know that. And I just want to tell everybody to have a fantastic day. And again, my words are keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. And if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button right here. Check out my other channel right here. And like I said, I linked the video of the difference between the two guitars right here. And then here's another video you might want to watch. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I know I'm going to. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm going to go for a ride on the bike.